Make sure looking the chairs out. All look healthy. This is what you want. Right, so here we are. Uh, pay off. No rain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make a, a, a mix up and put uh, that return pipe and that will uh, go back on with that. Right so that's cemented in now and the pipe runs all the way up there and I need to put a, a bend on that so that will go around to this uh, filter. Uh, the drainage tap, so what I'm doing, I'm just um, sorting a pipe out so that will come out and drain down this way. So I'm just doing that. Uh, right, here we go. Right, so now I have a 4 inch tank connector connected to the RBC. Which was a bit of a piss about, but it's done. So I thought I might have to put some sort of a bracket on here, but this uh, top of the IBC, it just just do that. It just it just sits over that lip like that. So maybe might just put a little clip or something on here, or maybe uh, a bungee cord or something, just to uh, stop it blowing up with the wind. That should be all right. That like. And I need to uh, pump some of this water out. So I'll crack on with that, I think. Right, so that's about as much as we can get out of there without breaking the pump. So it has to stay like that. Right, cracking on. Right, so I need to solvent weld this uh, 90 degree sweeping bend onto the drain. So I'll get the solvent weld out and uh, crack on with that. Right, so that's that done, that's in place. Right, so that's that done. Right, so that's the slide valve. So, I'm thinking it needs to go probably here. So, I'll need to get a piece of pipe well, that, that's got a piece of pipe somewhere. That piece of pipe will go in there. Like that. And then it'll connect up to that. Right. Well that was short and sweet wasn't it? Just started to rain. Brilliant. Just too good to do too isn't it? Right, so pack it up time I think. So all I can do. Bloody weather. Right, so um I'll be truthful with you, um actually actually um Stick to the death of this pond build now. So, uh, I've been thinking about just um, sacking it off. <coughs> but, um, I don't know. Every time I come out, it's just depressing me. 
Yeah. Yeah. That's a nice one. Welcome back to the place where it always rains. Right, so stay off work. Uh, so this is just uh, following on from where I left off. So today I'm going to spin you around and show you what hopefully we're going to get done today. Right, so I need to put a tank connector on this bin and run a four inch pipe down here to that and just about here the uh, four inch slide valve is going to be I need to put um, some of the um, egg crate it's got to go on the inside of the IBC at the bottom of the uh, drainage valve to stop any media and stuff draining out so I also need to carry on with this I'm going to need to get a, a sleeve for this pipe here I've got another length of that pipe that's going to come round and join up to this it's going to be uh, a tank connector here which will be my uh, second inlet pipe so that's that right so I'm going to go out and uh, get what I need and I'm supposed to be getting some a couple of I think Vince has sent me uh, a four inch coupler for that and I think he sent me a four to three coupler and uh, it's not come yet so so that's where we're at so uh, yeah right so we're, we're cracking on right so what I'm doing now I've just put a 40 mil pipe on the drainage it's going to come down here in the ground and it's going to come along here I've put a hole in this and I can connect, connect I can connect another pipe to it so it um, drains out that way and I'm going to just cover all that up so that's what I'm doing now get it back filled and I'm going to leave this I'll put that uh, 90 on just as an indicator where the pipe is so uh, what I'll do is I'll get a couple to come out of here and then I can just put a pipe on when I need to for the drainage so I'm going to back fill all that now right so I don't know how I'll cut that ace but um, I put a uh, HA6 on that uh, I uh, create so there's nothing getting through that like and uh, all that mud there is just from when I was studying it putting that tank connector on there so the, uh, there it is right. so progress and that, that this is all covered up now as well so obviously <coughs> I'm going to build this up uh, probably to the same level is that so yeah probably the same level as that so right cracking on right so <clears throat> as i was saying this other tank connector it's going to sit here it's going to have a pipe coming out this side going straight down with a, a 90 on it pushing the uh, water floor like mid-range so uh, just need to sort that out now right so saving a bit of money I've had to uh, prefabricate this so what I've done is I've I, uh, heated this pipe up and pushed this one in, into it and uh, I've put some HA6 around the, the, uh, the joints so that should be 100% uh, waterproof so that's going to go I'm going in there and I need to go and get uh, a pipe so I want that to come round I want that pipe to come round here and join up to this one uh, with a, a, a T a T junction and then the, them pipes will both fall back 
down there on the back of here to the pumps. That's the plan, but whether it'll work is another thing. I have one tank connector in the wall there, and that runs that runs down down here on a slight angle, slight slope. So that's going to come round to the back of this. I've got this one here. This one's going to come round to the back as well. Um, and it's going to be obviously two different pumps. One will have a pump on each pipe. Uh, so I've been out, I've got a couple of pipes. So I need to put a, uh, two tank connectors on the back of that. And then join these pipes up. And uh, hopefully I can get that done before it gets dark. Right, so that, that tank connector will be in that. Uh, and then the, the the big pump will be pushing water through that one. To feed them to inlets. And the other pump is going to be... And use that to uh, run me back a shower. So anyway, my fingers are absolutely freezing cold. And that'll do me for today, so cheers guys. Right, so bear me in mind, this is supposed to be like a budgeting uh, channel. I've just been out and bought that. And then these, these two, that. And that pipe, it's cost me 50 quid, so I wouldn't call that budgeting. Uh, this was supposed to be 12 quid, I think it was, something like that. But I got it for the fiver because one of the clips was missing. So I bought two more, which was two quid, so it's still cheaper than buying the actual piece. So today, I'm going to try and get this uh, four inch slide valve. <coughs> Put over on the on the drain. Uh, still get got to get another tank connector to finish that part off, and then we're good to go. I think it's crappy now, so I'm going to get on with that now. Get this uh, get this um, solvent welded. Right, so I've had an absolute nightmare with that bin. So I've done away with it. So I've just done a, a dry fit. What these look like. So I just need to solve it well in the place. And then I put some uh, silicone around these joints just to make sure I get these tightened up. And Bob's your uncle. TV. I'll get that done then. Play on two knees. What a nightmare.
Right, so yeah, as you can see, that's all together now. So I'm just going to let that harden and I'll put the silicone around all the joints just to be on the safe side. So, job's a good one. And need to carry on with these pipes here as well. Right, so that's all siliconed up. So basically, that's the uh, the bottom drain finished. Right. Would have liked it to have been more straight alike, but you can't have everything, can you? Right, so I'm going to be using the uh, pressure filter as well, because obviously it's got a built-in UV light. Uh, and I'm going to use this UV light as well, that needs a new bulb. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to have to try and move all that lock, so I want that on that wall there. I am getting uh, an Evo 25, the, uh, the newer model, at some point. I said there's no rush, no rush for this uh, build because I've got that pond and there's nothing wrong with that. <coughs> Just that that's made of wood and uh, obviously this is concrete and it'll last a hell of a lot longer. So I'm going to uh, fix that to that wall. Right, so that's uh, fixed to the wall now. Uh, bear in mind, yes, I know it's only small, but bear in mind. I did say that I'm getting a, uh, an EVO 25 so I'm going to have actually three UV lights uh, on it and obviously the power supply is going to have to go on that side of the pond now oh, endless. right so that pipe there will have the uh, 10,000 litres an hour pump on it and it's split off and that will be connected to that pump over there and that will come out of there and go straight up to the back of the shower right so my hands are absolutely freezing cold uh, I need to work out what I'm going to do with that bin there I uh, can't do anything with that until I get some more blocks which is going to be after Christmas uh, I'm going to go and start thinking think about uh, the inside of that anyway thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you all in my next video